Hi everyone and welcome. If you want to log OPC UA data in the CSV file, then we have created one application for you. And it's a Windows based application. So you can install that application in any Windows system. You can connect with your any OPC UA server. And once you provide the tag list of which tag you want to log in the CSV file, it will start logging the data in the CSV file in the specific manner. Okay, so let's see the demo of our application which we have created so you can install this application okay in your windows system you can double click to launch the application okay so here is our application to use this application you have to provide few details first of all you have to provide the opc us server endpoint url so for the demonstration purpose i am going to use the process opc us simulation server okay so i am going to copy the endpoint url from here and we are going to paste it here then after we have to select the message mode and the security policy so i'm going to select the message mode none and the security policy basic 256 i don't have any username and password to connect with my opc us server so i will you know left it as a blank i don't have any client certificate and after that i have to provide opc ua tag file path okay in which I have to specify which tag I want to read and log in the CSV file. So I have to provide the tag file path in the specific format and it should be CSV file. Okay, so let me show you uh, how does this file look like. So here is my file process OPC US server tag list. Okay, you can see in the first column we have a namespace and the ID. Okay, and in the second column we have a tag name. So you have to provide this address of your tag and you have to provide the tag name here okay so that's all you have to provide in this uh, csv file and then you have to supply the csv file here so you have to you know set the path here so desktop tag list process opc us server tag list after that data logging folder path okay so at what location you want to log your data so you can select the folder from here i am going to log my data on the desktop opc ua data logging folder and i'm going to select this folder after that once you start the data logging it will show you the current csv file path okay in which our data will be logged and here you can you know set the timeout to read data from opc ua server okay right now it's a 5000 milliseconds so it's a five second now the logging interval logging interval is also five seconds so i want to read the data every five seconds or you can say i want to read and log the data at interval of five seconds okay after that recent data read timestamps so once you start the application you will see at what time this software has read the data from process opc us simulation server okay so you will see the latest timestamp here at what time we have logged the data in the csv file okay and if there is any error okay error connecting to opc us server error decoding the opc ua data error reading the opc ua data or error logging the data to csv file you will see the indication here okay this led will turn in the red if there is any error okay and you can see opc ua data read service status so if your opc ua server is not running or is there any problem with opc ua server then this uh, you know result this status should be other than good okay so you will get to know that there is some error with my opc ua server now we can you know click on the run to start the data logging but before that this software will log the csv data in the specific format okay let me show you that format so yeah here is the format okay so we are we are having a main folder which we have selected here you can see uh, opc ua data logging okay inside that it will create a folder of current year after that it will create a folder of current month and then current day i mean today and then we have a csv file so today is 19th january so it will create a folder for 19th january and inside that we have a csv file so once you start this program okay it will generate the next csv file either on 00 minute either on 50th minute either on 30th minute or 45 minute okay so right now it's 11 17 okay in indian standard time so the next file will be generated at 11 30 and after that new file will be generated at 11 45 and the next file will be generated at 12 00 pm
okay so this is how this uh, hierarchy is going to work because uh, whenever you want to find the historical data you can you know search it by year month and day easily so that is why we have created this kind of hierarchy or you can say this kind of process to log our csv file data so let's uh, you know start the process okay our data is logging you can see the timestamp okay so timestamp is 20 after that new data will be logged at 25 okay the next data will be log at 30 okay now we can open this folder opc ua data logging folder here and you can see uh, we have a 2024 folder okay for the current year and then we have a current month folder current day folder and here we have a csv file in which our data is logging by this software okay if i open this csv file then you will see the error that error logging data to csv file because this csv file we have opened uh, and it is accessed by some other software so you will see this error so let me open this okay you can see that error error logging data to csv file okay so this is how this uh, you know error indication will work once it will log the next data and it the csv file is accessible then this uh, red led will be turned off now we want to see the data then we can you know copy paste this file paste it here and we can open this file okay here you can see the data timestamp tag name tag value and the status okay so we will select any one tag so let me select the counter tag okay and you can see yeah let me add the seconds here custom our minute and here seconds okay so you can see apart from the first log you will see each log will be generated exactly after five seconds okay so 20 25 30 35 40 okay so this is how this software is going to work okay so it will continuously log the data until you click on the stop button okay until you click on this uh, stop button or you know here you can press this stop button okay so this is how this software is going to work and it will generate a new file after 10 minutes because you can see right now it's 11 20 so the next file should be generated at 11 30 as i have explained you here okay and you can see the current data logging csv file path so our data is currently logging into this uh, csv file path which is generated on 19th january 2024 at 11:18 a.m in the morning okay and you can see the file here 11:18. okay yeah let me close the file okay now if we turn off the process opc ua simulation server then the status will be changed okay so let me close the process opc ua simulation server and here you will see the status change okay right now it's a good status because it's a waiting now you can see bad connection close so this software is not able to create connection with process opc ua simulation server or if you provide any other opc ua you know endpoint url then this uh, this software will tell you that it's not able to connect okay and <clears throat> based on this error if you want to perform any operation okay so once your uh, opc us server is not running and this software finds out that your opc us server is not running and it is providing this status then if you want to do something like if you want to send the alert on the telegram if you want to send the alert on the mail okay if you want to send the alert on the microsoft team then also it is possible for each and every error if you want to send any alert then we can customize this software to send any alert on whatever social media platform or whatever method you prefer okay so that is possible with this software now let me open the process opc us simulation server again and once we open that okay once it is you know running it will automatically connect with the server and it will start logging the data okay you can see it is good server is running and it got automatically connected with the server and now it is logging the data you can see 55 the next data will be logged at 60 okay 2500 and the next data will be logged at 2505 okay so this is how this software is going to work and if you want to change the logging interval okay 
if you want to change the logging interval from five second to one second then also you can do it okay so all you have to do is just change the logging interval and it will start logging the data at every second okay if you are opening this a file okay you can you can see the size is increasing rapidly okay 31 kb 32 kb because it is logging the data at every second so let me stop this one and let me open the file and i'll show you that data is logged at every second okay so we will select the counter tag we will change the timestamp with second okay now in the last we have every second log i'm sorry yeah you can see we have a data logging at each second okay you can see 36 35 34 33 32 31 so this software is capable to log the data of your opc us server at every second you can see 9 10 11 so the counter tag is updating at every second so here you can see from you know uh, sixth count it will continuously logging the data at every second so this is possible with this software okay which we have created so if you have any question or concern regarding this software then you can always ping me on whatsapp telegram instagram anywhere also you can send me a mail or you can ask your queries on the comment okay my email will be available in the about section of my youtube channel you can go there you can send me a mail if you have any queries and if you want to buy this software okay so this software will be like uh, you know a windows installer software you have to uh, install this as a normal software and it will start working as you uh, provide the necessary detail okay so i hope this thing is clear to you and in the future we are also covering sqlite data logging with this software okay so if you want to log your data in the sql database okay first we will try for the sqlite database then we will go for the mysql database and in the future we will go for the mssql database okay so stay tuned for the future videos till then take care goodbye